YouTube, what is up? It is your sensei back at it again with another video, man. Today we got Goku Black versus Reverse Flash. Y'all been telling me this a banger, bro. So let's see what we got Goku here, man. Black, Goku the Black. Goku Black. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be close for this one, bro. Because, like, the Reverse Flash got, like, they say time travel powers and shit. But, like, but but like Goku Black also kind of has time travel, so it's like. Kill your superhero has I don't know. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. I wonder battle. what style they're gonna. Oh, they're gonna. What consumes the thoughts of a god? What do immortals dream of with all the time in the world? In Zamasu's case, his one goal was divine justice. Yeah, this guy's got major Final Fantasy big bad energy all over him. Nah, As real, the bro. assistant to Universe 10 Supreme Kai, Zamasu prized above all else cosmic order and natural beauty. Oh, that reminds me. Did you know I can burp and fart at the same time? <laughs> Here, let me try. <gasps> Unsurprisingly, Zamasu despised the inherently chaotic nature of mortals, being seemingly unwilling to lift themselves out of their own cycle of violence and stupidity, like some people I know. Yeah, I know those people too. His heart was clouded. Until the day he met Son Goku. I'm not gonna with look, God bro, I'm not gonna Goku lie. Match blows he was shaking after Beerus. Goku beat his Their butt, bro. nearly destroyed the entirety of Universe they 7. They swapped hands and he was trembling. He was at like... least nine times larger than our own universe. At most, it could even be as large as 13 times greater than ours. Uh, side note, it's worth mentioning that when two Gods of Destruction fought, they were capable of casually destroying two of these universes. And since the shockwaves from their punches traveled across Universe 7 in seconds, they'd have to be hitting way faster than light. Goku was tapping into his Super Saiyan God form for this, though clearly not at its full strength. While the exact multiplier for Super Saiyan Blue is unknown, Toriyama himself has directly compared it to the original Super Saiyan form. And don't forget, Goku trained with Whis and fought in the tournament with Universe 6 before Zamasu caught up with him. So by that time, he was way stronger. Here was a mortal with the powers of gods beyond even Zamasu's abilities. Someone who could bring his dreams to fruition. So Zami did what anyone would do in that situation. <laughs> he his he stole his body. Supreme Kai, which on the Super Dragon Balls to switch bodies with Goku That's and wild, kill bro. every single mortal in the universe. And thus the deity Zamasu became Goku Black. Please, that was kind of racist. Black? Yeah, that was racist. I'm not gonna lie. That was racially motivated. You couldn't be more creative. No, you might be wondering, why didn't he just wish all the mortals dead? But that wouldn't be as fun, would it? Black's got all of Goku's strength and powers, but wielded by a genocidal maniac instead of that lovable goober of a monkey man. And in keeping with Goku's Saiyan heritage and godly key, Black can easily achieve the form of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. But with a champagneful twist. Super Saiyan Rose. I wonder Rose, why does it go Rose? Really? Did they what is he, it? a suburban wine mom? Watch <laughs> out before he unlocks Super Saiyan Live Laugh Love! He stole Goku's <laughs> techniques too, like the instant transmission, where he focuses on a person's key signature to teleport to their location. He's even got the black Kamehameha, which is a Kamehameha, but pink. And with a Saiyan body, he gets stronger and stronger every time he almost dies. He just becomes harder and harder to kill. Which really sucks for the rest of the universe. Because Black is kind of like if Goku just snapped one day and used his powers to their yeah, like full Superman potential. Just like the God Split Cut, where he surrounds his hands with a keyblade to slice you to ribbons. He used this very technique to, uh kill Goku's family. He can yeah, even that extend was wild. this keyblade into a huge curved one called the Azure Dragon Sword. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, the scythe, Kamehameha the scythe was so tough. Goku is colorblind. Actually, Black's Azure Dragon Sword is named after a legendary weapon wielded by one of Earth's greatest warriors, the desert bandit Yamcha. Wait, what? And he can make yeah, a scythe wild. and slice open space-time itself yeah, to create a bunch of shadow crazy, clones. Bro. Uh, Black, not Crater Boy over here. But his most dastardly weapon isn't a key technique at all. It's the time ring he got from his dead yeah, master. Yeah, so they do this have, they both have time travel Black powers, to travel so this is gonna be an time, interesting fight. And even escape into Future Trunks' alternate timeline, where he had free reign over the entire universe. And let him team Why? up with his best there wasn't a Supreme Kai there? himself. Too bad Goku and company showed up to spoil the fun. But wait, isn't Zamasu in Goku's body? How are there two Gokus? There's only one Goku in the multiverse, right? 
But Goku met Black before he met Zamasu, which means Black existed before Zamasu came up with the idea. And then they killed Zamasu before he could do it anyway, but Goku Black was still yeah, around. Yeah, that was just a weird, What the hell is bro. going on? That was just Sure, weird. it's a classic grandfather's paradox. The thing is, Black's time ring prevents him from being affected by alterations to his own personal timeline. So just so steal his ring. So killing him in the past doesn't change his future and vice versa. He's almost impossible to kill because even if you do it at one point in time, he still exists at another point in time. And another. And another. Bro, so just take another, his ring off, bro. Another. Oh, God, I hate time travel. Black has crushed Saiyans like Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. Hell, even Vegito couldn't beat him. He even merged with the universe to become one with everything. Like I said, major Final Fantasy villain vibes here. It took Zeno, the Omni King, the most powerful being in all of creation, to step in and erase that entire timeline just to stop Black's rampage. How Terrible. ironic. Terrible. Zamasu's higher calling was the eradication of all mortal life in the universe, and he stole the strongest mortal's body to do it. But in the end, he was always doomed to fail. His quest for power meant nothing against a being that would always be stronger, no matter what he did or who he was. And the universe ended up being destroyed anyway. It's like <laughs> one big cosmic joke with no one left to laugh. Damn, You've been running tough. around making messes for too long, and now I'm going to choke the light from you. I can't wait to watch you die. That's tough. Barry Allen. The Flash, the fastest man alive, is one of the greatest heroes in history, an inspiration to many across time and space. Valid. And there's the no Flash better example than his number one fan from the 25th century, Eobard Thawne. All right, Wiz, we've Eobard, tackled bro. a lot of stupid names for things in our yeah. years here at Death Battle, but I'm confident that Eobard is the dumbest f***ing first name I've ever heard in my life. Eobard was completely obsessed with the Flash and dedicated his whole life to studying the Speed Force like a total nerd. Good luck to him, because there's no way he's figuring that shit out. But Thawne's life irrevocably changed the day he discovered a time capsule from the 21st century. By some strange coincidence, it just so happened to contain Barry's costume. By experimenting on it, Thawne managed to replicate the Flash's powers, How, turning bro? himself what? into a mirror of his idol. And you can bet he totally crapped himself when Barry Senpai showed up in the future and took him under his wing. It was a dream come true. Until <laughs> Barry realized that Thawne had fabricated crimes in order to show up and save the day. Disgraced, Thawne promised to better himself before traveling to the past to prove his worth to his hero, to prove that their bond was special. That's when oh Thawne found God. out that Barry already had a best friend and a family and a life without him. He didn't matter. He wasn't special. He was just a nobody Barry tossed out in the trash and forgot about. That's like tough. my Tinder dates do to me. If only. When Thawne visited the Flash Museum in Barry's time, he discovered the secret identity to Flash's greatest enemy that in his future had been lost to time. The one Barry was fated to kill in battle. Eobard Thawne. That's Wait a minute, tough. Ludo, ain't that a bitch? That's tough. Thawne He's like, it's mad. me. If he couldn't it's be me. Flash's best friend, he'd be his greatest enemy. And I guess also ensure his own future death. That is a tragic story. He would travel story. from the future to terrorize the Flash family in the past. Revenge in reverse. He'd become the Revenge reverse, in reverse Flash. Reverse Flash? We're really setting the world on fire with these names today, huh, Wiz? Thawne draws his powers from the negative speed force, which he generates with every step he takes, just like Barry does with the regular speed force. The negative, negative speed, speed force gives Thawne force, access bro, to many of the Flash's powers, including force. his mind-bending super speed, enough to travel all across time and space in days. He can keep up with and surpass other speedsters like Barry and Wally. Who once ran fast enough to cross the universe faster than two gods who could teleport. Wally even beat himself in a race, and Barry admitted Thawne was still bro, faster how do you, what? Wait, how do you beat yourself in a race, Just bro? a second, he beat himself? That doesn't even yeah, make that, sense. But that unlike Barry sense? and Wally, Thawne applies his powers more catastrophically, using them to their full potential without any care for collateral. 
take, for instance, his ability to vibrate himself through solid objects. Objects like, say, vital organs. And if he did, he'd scramble their molecules, causing instant death. Thorn did just that to Barry's wife, Iris. And That's Barry tough. did not appreciate it. Thorn's vibrations are so powerful, he can even produce a counterforce that can reverse the destruction of the entire universe. Pretty crazy sounding, but even B-tier speedsters like Jenny Ognats can do the same kind of thing. And when Barry and Wally raced each other, they were tearing up the entire multiverse. Thorn can create shockwaves with a snap phase into your body and possess you and even How speak the fuck at does such that high speeds sense? that you'll hear his words as though they were your own thoughts and instead of stealing your speed like other flashes he can steal your time yeah thon can yoink decades from your life and age you 80 that's years wild, in just bro. a few seconds that's Kinda wild sounds like your sex life who oh, is <laughs> but Thawne's greatest ability is his unmatched skill at time travel. And he uses this expertise to be as petty and cruel as humanly possible. Thawne wasn't a dummy. He knew that if he went back in time to kill Barry before he got his powers, he'd erase himself from the time stream too. So instead, he'd just make Barry's life suck as hard as he could. Push him down some stairs, retcon his best friend from history, kill That's his mom. Tough. He even told Barry he'd go back in time and adopt him as his own son. Dude, what the fuck? That's another big difference between Thawne and Barry. Whereas Barry only went back in time to save his mother's life, Thawne often went back in time to try to fix his own mediocre life. He killed his more successful younger brother, his career rival at the Flash Museum, and every single boyfriend his crush had until there was no one left but him. And when That's she tough, still rejected bro. him, he went back in time again and made her an invalid for the rest of her life. Jesus Christ! Yo, this he is a monster. evil! But wait, Wiz, yeah, bro, that's impossible! Grandpappy Paradox or whatever. If he went back in time to kill someone, they'd be dead in the future! Which means... Which means... Which means he'd never know them and want to go back in time in the first place, right? Wiz, maybe time is a construct with no legitimate unit of measurement other than the meager attempts man has made to oh understand God, the incomprehensible Block world time. around Block him. time. Uh, well, actually, Thawne was just inside the time stream when Barry initiated Flashpoint, which rewrote the universe while Thawne was technically disconnected from it. So, Thawne essentially broke. Literally, figuratively, mentally, physically, temporally. Or maybe he just hated Barry so much it defied the laws of time itself. Whoa! <laughs> no. Or specifically, he became a living paradox, a being without a past or future, literally without continuity. Not only did this mean he'd be unaffected by changes to his past, it made him effectively immortal. Stabbed in the chest by evil Batman, vaporized by Iris in some sweet, sweet payback, or getting Dr. Manhattan by the big blue god dong himself. Thawne was always reborn, unable to stay dead. But more than oh, anything, wow. it made what? him immune from consequences. So Unlike he can't Barry, stay whose dead. changes to time could destroy all of reality, Thawne could do whatever he wanted. He was impossible to stop with no reason to hold back. He survived a hit from Barry while he had the entire speed force absorbed into him, and even Wally's infinite mass punch, which has the mass of a white dwarf star. A white dwarf is essentially the remains of a star's ultra dense core. So, which has okay, a mass Thawne's of gonna win this then. I don't think Goku tons. Black can like. I don't think Goku Black can do anything and against just that. Took a that's Man, wild. He must really hate Barry if a son to the face can't take him down. But he doesn't hate Barry. All of his schemes, all of his machinations, all of his insane timeline-shattering threats, all of it, was because it was the only way he could think of to spend time with his hero. That's really sad. Bro, his you could have just asked says him. It all. He never intended to be the Reverse Flash. He wanted to be the Kid Flash. All Fawn ever really desired was to be by Barry's side. In the end, though, goody little two-shoes Barry forgave him and then vibrated away his living paradox powers, erasing him from existence. Though not entirely. <laughs> Barry didn't kill Fawn. He reset his timeline, removing the one thing driving his hatred, his relationship with Barry. Without that, Thawne was a normal, happy Flash fan once again. It's That's comics, up, Wiz. He'll be back. And when he does, there'll be no running. He'll always be faster. He'll always catch you. And time is always on his side. Still think you can take me? Even death can't catch me. That's tough. That's a tough ass line. Even All death right, can't catch me. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data. All right, I'm not gonna lie, bro. First, I got ear barred. I got the reverse flash. In the bedroom in a flash. Whoa, pause. You. All right, here comes Goku Black. Woo! Mortal sinners, prepare for defeat.
Divine Justice! <laughs> Divine Justice. Bro, god damn, he's just killing everybody. Oops. Oops. Can't catch him, bro. He's actually Excuse faster me, than the dog. Need of your services. Oh, that's tough. Bro, my man got used as a meat shield. Crazy. Weave, 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 weave. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna stand super still for you. That's tough. Oh, he got him. It's over. Oh, that's tough. He punched him. Bro, he punched him through the planet. What the f? That's wild. He punched him through the moon. And then he punches him back. How does that not destroy the earth? How does he survive that? Oh, he just destroyed the whole planet? Oh, he's just traveling through time. <laughs> Death in reverse. Nah, bro, he's got time travel powers too. That's tough. He played the Uno reverse card. He's like, nah, I got time travel powers too. Bro, so they're fighting out of time. Mortal sinners, prepare for divine. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro, that's a Uno reverse. He said, "You thought you got me? Nah, bruh. Why are you dead? dead? <laughs> oh, the colognes are coming in. Jump. <laughs> Bro, he said jump a nigga jutsu. Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. Weave. That's an atomic weave. He's running back. Oh my god, this is a time travel battle, bro. Anybody could win. They're not nobody's gonna win. It's a time travel battle. Oh, he vibrated him out of existence. Wait, Quicksilver? What's Quicksilver doing there? To stand atop all things and look down upon creation itself. That is the work of a god! Guilty threats to a living <laughs> Oh my god, bro. How truly foolish. He got the time ring. I told you, bro. I knew it. Just take the time ring off. It's Was over now. Yeah, get them organs vibrated, brother. Get them organ. Well, pause, pause. I did not mean it. I did. Okay, guys. I did not mean it like that. Oh, bro. He's literally dragging him. Oh, my God, bro. That's the ultimate drag. And he shot him into the sun. Oh, fuck. So yeah guys, let me know what you thought about this reaction in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Comment what you want me to react to next. If you did enjoy it, check out these videos. You know, there's more reaction to battles and stuff. Super cool. But yeah guys, thank you for all the support. And as always, Sensei out. Peace.